Hey, Betty Bash. It's the 5th of April, 2018. And, uh, once again, a random Bible verse uh, just leads me to a couple of things that I believe are worthy of showing you. And my random verse was Revelation 5, verses 11 through 13. Interesting. You rarely get revelation in this Bible verse generator. But nonetheless, there it is. So, you know, I go to read it, of course, and... I'm reading it, and it's talking about when John first sees up into heaven, and he sees the right hand, the right hand of him that sat on the throne. If we go back to Revelation 4, we see that after this they looked, the door was open in heaven, and he's describing God and all these things. And he saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. Saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven or earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look upon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. One of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals and you know it came right to me yesterday when i was seeing this um jesse in the sewer pipe there 13 year old jesse in the pipe for 13 hours remember that jesse uh, 13th from adam remember that that's what new york is going to look like tomorrow i'm going to talk about that in a second jesse 13th from abraham 33rd from adam and the reason I'm even bringing this stuff up is because this is how these trails are laid out before me. I just, I just can't help it. Um, that article you just saw, New York, they're showing it's going to snow this weekend, quite a bit apparently. But this is the image they choose. The Arch of Triumph, essentially, that's really what it is, with the horses, the horses on it. White with snow, right? I'm just saying white with snow horses and in revelation 6 after they find in revelation 5 that he is worthy the lamb the root of david has prevailed and i beheld and lo in the midst of the throne four beasts in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain right what are what time are we in right now the crucifixion the resurrection we're at the time that the lamb was slain all right so what i'm getting shown here is that we're at the time and this is just how i'm interpreting this we're at the time as when the lamb does open one of the seals and he hears what the noise of thunder and the four b saying come and see and i saw behold a white horse and he that sat upon him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer and you know when i see these things i always always ask for confirmation on things and it comes in ways that i can never <laughs> never really figure out so i'm continuing to look through my headlines and i see this other article here sarah jane cobb dances for hawk in horse haven fundraiser sarah jane cobb sarah abraham sarah and Jacob, okay, I just see this stuff. That's all I could tell you. And we're just talking about Jesse. Once again, you know, the 13th from Abraham, okay? Sarah Jane Cobb. And it's about horses. New York uses the Arch of Titus, basically, with the white covered horses for their article. And we're seeing them talk about the white horse with the rider on it. What's my point? Well, here we go. There was a time like a year ago that I was seeing, you know, I'm, I was literally being shown things in imagery and stuff that's just mind-blowing. And, you know, since then, I've, you know, I've, things change, you know what I mean? But I still see this stuff. I just don't 
you know, pursue it as much. I'm not, I'm not, you know, led to pursue those things quite as much anymore. But in this case, I have to show you this. The White Horse. I'm going back to May 24th of 2017. And I know that I made a video. And I'll be darned if I can remember the name of the video or the exact day I made it. But I'm assuming it was right around May 24th. And May 24th is interesting in and of itself. That was the very same day that Trump and the Pope, Trump and Melania in black, met with the Pope and gave him Martin Luther King Jr. books who was celebrated or mourned over yesterday, Martin Luther King Jr. That was on the same day as this article. And what I wanted to share with you is when they talked about Titan. Now, we could get into the whole story of Titan, but I just have to show you this. This image right here of Titan, okay? This is just bizarre beyond understanding i want you to look real quick at this not willy wonka but this video trailer right here no this isn't it this one right here if my browser will cooperate this came across my path today and you know i don't see a lot of this stuff but when i saw the titan at the same time that i'm going to show you this image titan in a second i came across this trailer and you need to listen to this just for like 10 seconds the first very first of it listen to what these people say as nuclear fallout over the pacific continues the federal government has declared los angeles uninhabitable the base is four square the federal government has declared los angeles uninhabitable now, this show just started this week. This is a brand new show. Okay? Titan. 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 The image. The white horse. The white arch. The Sarah Jacob horse. Titan. Now, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get to the point here. Sorry. This image. It's just crazy because, you know, this, this stuff hasn't come to me in a while and it's just fascinating beyond understanding. Here, here's that image right there. This is our, that's the original form of it right there. Grabbed it right from the website. Anybody can get it. And there's all kinds of stuff in it. In this form, I can show you things. Uh, but I want to show you this. Flip it 90 degrees to the right. And what do we have here? Now, this is the kind of thing that I don't have the software to draw it out, but this is pretty easy to see here on Titan. Thank you, NASA. Here's your white horse and rider with a bow right here. You'll see the rider's face is right here. This is his head. You can follow his shoulder down and his coat or cloak or whatever he's wearing. This looks like where his hand would come out. This is his leg going down the side of the horse. This is the horse's face. So you have the rider that you can see is his neck, the bottom of his chin right there. That's his body right there, his hand, his leg sitting on the horse, and the horse's face is right in front of us. The white horse. You can see him as clear as day. There's his one ear right there, the top of his head. There's the other ear right there. There's one eye right there, the other eye over there. You can even see part of his bridle and harness on him. Okay? Let me back them out a little bit. Again, ear, ear, eye, eye. There's his nose going down, nose going down. You can even make out his snout and his lip. A horse and rider. You can see him best. You can see the rider best right there. And this light back here, smoke or whatever it is, is in the shape of a bow. And I believe he's holding that bow on his white horse, the rider. He's got a crown. That's just what I see. Back on May 24th, the same day that Trump went to the Vatican and gave him the Lotus and the Martin Luther King Jr. stuff. This is just what I see, you know. You know, I can't explain it any, any, any different, to be quite honest with you. This is just... 
how I see these things and how I got to share them with you, you know, and we could absolutely go deeper on this, but I'm not going to. I'm just putting out there that that something to do with this white horse, you know, that it's it's coming, the, the war, the manifestation of all this darkness that we just see just just bubbling below the surface, waiting to burst out. You need to know Jesus. You need to be prayed up always because when these things overtake you, you know, you don't want to fall into that snare or that pit like Jesse did. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, seek Jesus if you don't know him. Ask him into your heart and show you the truth, okay? So, there you go. And I will put a link to this image so that you can look at it for yourself. Courtesy of NASA. That's that's just what it is, folks. I don't know what else to say. So, there you go. Pray up. Keep looking up. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 